Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Vactix, a roguelike mech-building turn-based tactics game that's going to be coming out at the end of the month. We got access to it a little bit early here, so in we shall go. It looks quite neat. Uh, this, however, is the techno-paradise of Solitude City in 2085 AD. It is the year of the Vactic Uprising. But we're going to be able to create our own little mech, our own unit, from multiple different parts to change how they are going to function in a turn-based tactics kind of fashion. I feel like there's a lot of games that are trying to do the turn-based tactics roguelite combo, and I feel like it's absolutely ripe for the picking, but there's not a ton that I feel like really nail it, so I hope that this one does bring it here today. People believed all they needed was to satisfy their own needs. You, you biz. <laughs> Ubiz seized on this belief, building the Vactix. But deep in the Citizens Park, we have survived and discovered a way to fight back. Working together, the community of Solitude City is rebuilding something once thought lost. A more different Vactic. Is that... am I right? I, I guess I don't know what's happening there. The Vagdix went rogue and built their own AI control cores. They took control of their own destiny, which determined ours. Well, all freaking right. We've powered the mech up. We should test out the movement system. Click a tile next to the mech to move there. Trees and buildings will block the mech from moving. The mech can move onto special tiles like fires. Special tiles trigger effects when the mechs land on them. What are you trying to get me to do, game? You want me to step on the fire? Is that our health? Is it going down based off of just time? Uh, Fighter Vactic has appeared. Scan the Vactic to learn what we are up against. Scanning will show the tiles that a Vactic can attack this turn. They will attack the mech if you finish inside the attack turn area. Scan Vactics to help us plan the next move. Click it to scan. Okay. The Vactic is next to the mech. You are in position for a strafe attack. Strafe attacks can trigger when the mech starts a move adjacent to a Vactic. Strafe attacks trigger automatically depending on the mech's movement. Trigger a strafe attack by clicking a tile that's also adjacent to the Vactic. Oh, okay. So if we... We just move here as long as we're within this radius. Do you only have one HP? Seems it. All right. Okay. Okay. Solitude City is always changing shape. No district looks the same for long. To start the level, select a landing site. Click an empty tile to land the mech there. The mech will arrive with a shield to protect them from the first attack. Okay. I feel like, yeah, roguelike turn-based tactic games always have the issue with what happens to the player when you spawn into a randomly generated map to make sure it's fair. This seems really generous. You pick the spot and you have a bubble to protect you from the first attack. So it's almost like... It's almost like I should just step right here, right? Oh, you move... You, they get to move too. Oh, you jerk. So they're, they're attacking over there. All right. Well, that actually is a bummer. Can I attack while I'm just standing? I can't attack. Interesting. It's actually not possible to attack that way. Uh, we are in a weird spot. Never mind. We're fine. Charge attacks. Vactic is straight ahead of the mech. You are in position for a charge attack. Char uh, character. Charge attacks can happen when the mech is positioned two tiles away from a Vactic. Only two? Exactly two or more than, like, at least two? Trigger automatically depending on the mech's movement. Click the tile directly towards a Vactic to trigger the charge attack. Okay. Nice! So it's weird. We, it's kind of interesting how we don't have the ability to just do the most normal possible attack. I think, I think it's very much intentional. I think it's kind of clever. I'm curious to see how it shakes out here. Okay, so... Like, we could spawn here, he'll move in, we get the big old dash but kill, but then we're stuck in this, like, little kind of bottleneck area. You will move away from me. You will move towards me. Yeah? Let's go wild. This is not as wild as I thought it might be. 
but it's actually a good it's a good move anyways can we kill two birds with one stone like if we move adjacent we don't yeah okay we have to be adjacent to that one in the first place in order to get the kill i do wonder oh my you on cooldown oh i forgot i was gonna attack there i do wonder if we can get a double kill then like if we're there's a because because of the hex based grid there is a world where we are standing by two units and move adjacent to two units. Like, ironically, in most other tactics games, when you're in a bad situation, when you're flanked, uh, you could actually get a double kill, theoretically, if that works. We've liberated the district. <laughs> the district. A team has been following us to scavenge Vex from the defeated Vactix. Tech from the defeated Vactix. Sorry, the, the font is a little bit tricky to read. It's so blocky and, uh, uh, you know, apologies. When we complete a district, there will be choice of tech to upgrade our mech with. Install new tech and tech mods. Use them to destroy the Vactics. On top of the fact that the Vs, the Vs and Us are, the, are quite the same. Uh, mech tech cooldowns are fully recharged. Anybody remember tech deck dudes? When upgrades are installed, are they still around? Begin salvage. I'm not, I'm not talking tech deck. I'm talking specifically the, the thumb boy. The ones that are the thumbs with, like, hats on, you know? Uh, okay, so we get a pick between dash or freeze. Okay, so eventually... These are locked, so I don't know what that's about. But eventually we'll be able to get three different moves, depending on what character we built at. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, prevent the target from taking any action until they thaw out. I don't know if it's ranged or not. Dash to a spot quickly, moving through anything in between. I wish I knew a little bit more about what I was picking here, but you know what? Sometimes some of the fun of uh, of a roguelike or a roguelite playing for the first time is just figuring out what the heck things do. There's some games that pride themselves on not telling you what the thing does so that you can vibe with it a little more, and sometimes I'm that way. And... Uh, this might be one of those times. I feel like it's it's different in a tactics game, though, because you kind of need to know the uh, byproduct of your actions. I bet you if we click over here... Oh, we're not... If we click over here, it'll probably tell us what to do, right? Hmm. It blocks one attack. It does not block two. I would love to drop here, because it just seems like it'd be very fun to do. Um, if I go here, you will... You'll move in, you'll... Well, one of you will move in. Interesting, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we get the big old, big old murders going up there instead. Because you're probably going to run. Let's try this out, let's see what happens. I wanted to try and get the, uh... I want to try and get a double. All right, so we're, we're in a bit of a pickle now because the shield only lasts for the first turn. Gotcha. What does this do? There, yeah, mech tech dash. There we go. Our dash tech is active. Mech tech are powerful tools we have that give us an edge over the other Vactics. Other Vactics. The Vactics. Use dash to move quickly across the battlefield and kill enemies. And kill enemies. Ooh, and tech is used. Your turn does not finish. Combine multiple tech with attacks and trigger powerful combos. I Do I risk go, moving on this spot? Here, here's the thing. Can I... Okay, I can't click on it to let me know what it does. I... I don't know what happened. Did I... Did I, like, collect something? Was that actually... Was that good? I certainly would not have assumed that that would be good. But... Okay, I was damaged. Was I damaged by the tile? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. It's, it's not... We'll, we'll have to see. I got 25% power loss because what? The mech has been damaged by an attack. We need to avoid this happening. Vactix attack the mech and deplete our power supply. Every attack depletes the power supply by 25%. Why are we at 51 then? So it must be draining over it must be draining over time. Or the 
No, it, th those tiles wouldn't do such a weird interval to take us to 51. We must be draining over time as well. Be alert. Different Vactics attack in different ways. If the next power supply is reduced to zero, it's game over. Okay. So we can close that gap there. I mean, maybe those... I don't know if those are good or bad. It told me what fire does on this one screen. So we have one dash left. Is that what I'm, uh, what I'm gathering there? Man, I wish I could... set up an insta-double. Can I? Can I by going here? I feel like getting this guy out of the way right away sounds really, really ideal. It's kind of brutal, though. Hmm. This is a double kill, theoretically, but again, I don't know what this thing does. That is a double kill. Two times combo, 10% power gained. What a move. Combos trigger when we destroy more than one Vactic in a turn. Combos recharge the mech power supply. The more kills in a combo, the more power supply will recharge. They're essential to our survival. Look for ways to get multiple kills. That is cool. Here's another double kill for you, baby. I hope that this doesn't hit me. All right, we're good. That is such a cool mechanic. Interesting. Oh my. So our mech tech, do we get one charge every turn? Is that what's happening with that? Oh my. Do we go wild? Can we, oh, we can't drop here. I kind of wanted to drop here, see if we could go absolutely wild on turn one. It's not good. Um, boy, nothing but trouble up there. But I, I do kind of... That's the weird thing, though, is I kind of need to go there right away to find success. Is there danger in this side? I can go into this spot. Again, I still don't know if this is bad. It's a red X, so that tells me it's bad, but I have not seen... The negative downside to it yet. I it gives us mech tech. It's just it's just good. It gives us tech. It's just good. Okay. No, it adds a cooldown. Gotcha. I thought it was giving us more charges. It's a cooldown on the ability. Okay, that's not that bad. You know what is bad? The fact that I cannot attack you directly. And I don't have my dash. It is it is bad in this specific scenario, but it's interesting. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, corners are terrible considering we cannot attack directly. Corners are even worse in this than a normal turn-based tactics game. I'm going to have to take this hit. There's nothing I can do because of the situation I set up for myself there. I brought it upon myself. So yeah, that is indeed the cooldown, and it, it just increases it. But I bet you there's going to be some scenarios where um, where we will accept that. My uh, my HP is, is hurting, though. Is there any other way to restore? Begin the salvage. Wait, wait, what? So we get to modify the dash now. Okay, that's exciting. Uh, Vactics are pushed away after the dash activates. Do I care? Dash cooldown restored by two whenever the mech is damaged. Uh, wait. 
Dash cooldown is restored by two when the mech completes an action on a special tile. Does the penalty tile count as a special tile? So we could, could we negate it? Also, do I, like, I'm imagining that it never told me what the fire tile does. I can only imagine it just does damage. I don't know where I'm at on these. I'm curious. For, for science. For science! Uh, energy sappers? Okay, it says right there now. Energy sappers. Whirlpools ejects mech out in a random direction. Push arms. Surrounding Vactics are pushed away. Well, that's actually really nice for us. Especially, we stand on it, the surrounding ones are pushed away, and we also restore two to our charge. I want to see... Oh, we can't spawn on it, though. Okay. I'm gonna get hit here, aren't I? Yeah. I saw the double and I was like, hell yeah, but then you know what? It's not worth it. Oh! That blows up in a radius! I thought that was just don't stand on it. Okay. That's brutal. The mech power supply was reduced to zero. We will salvage the mech for another attempt. Lesson learned. Those blow up in a circle. We can now equip two types of tech. The tech that we equip in the new engine slot comes with a range boost. Oh, okay. So we literally just got stronger. Okay, that makes me feel better. Like, there's there's actual meta progress stuff. Okay. That makes me feel better about my, uh, my performance there. We've salvaged some tech from the previous mech. The technicians will rebuild the, the mech, and then we can continue the fight to save the city. Select from the salvage to equip the mech. Okay, select the tech, then select the install position. Press launch to begin. Oh, okay, so we can put the dash in one of these. I mean, I kind of like the little wheel. It says plus further. So if, if we put the dash on a movement or on the bottom, you get bonus movement speed out of it, or bonus distance. Very interesting. Also, we're adorable looking. Okay. Deals damage when activated. I mean, like, okay. That's what I thought. That's what I figured fire would do, but just making sure. Okay, so what did it mean about a range up? Because I, I would like to get a little silly with it. Okay. I can close that gap. Man, I really want to see what it looks like. I'm, I, can't, I can't stall for too long, though. I can't stall for too long. Maybe I misread that. Maybe I don't actually get a range up. But I would think that that would mean I could dash from further away. Not sure if true. Let's try it out. Are we in danger if we go to this tile? Nope. But now I'm in danger. Okay. Hmm. Does that count as a combo? It does. Okay. So it, it's as long as it's in the same turn. So yeah, getting to the point where you have all of your slots unlocked and filled up seems 
absolutely integral to you having success. The good news is it, there's only three slots and we have two out of three of them unlocked. That's my ideal. Like if you're going to have meta progression that make like you need to unlock to get strong over time. I like just give me a couple different slots or uh, or things to have lots of different options in. That's kind of what I like. I don't like exp big old expansive meta trees. Unless I'm playing an action uh, action RPG. I'm not into that. There's a time and a place, baby. Okay, so it says block, so I trust you. I trust you to tell the truth. Man, I wish I could attack and then dash. Like, attack and then dash in the same turn. Like, that's fine. We only lost 5% uh, battery. But hey... We're good, we're in. Begin salvage. What do we got, baby? Okay, so we could get... Dash? We could... Okay, so we could get a dash there. Oh, so we could have... We could just have two different dashes. There's actually a lot of value to that. Uh, dash can be used on tiles next to the mech. Is very interesting. It's basically... that That's so usable, but the cooldown is concerning. Freeze would go in the chest there. Uh, Let's give it a shot, because it's different. It's new. It's new. But yeah, this game is absolutely ripe for, uh, for depth. Like, simplistic, but deep kind of uh, changes and additions. I'm very curious how many different parts and everything like that there are. Uh, fires a grenade that, <laughs> towards the mech that'll explode next turn. Uh, yeah, about that. Like, I would like to... I'd like to not... If I can. Theoretically, there's no danger here. Is that... Ooh. Freeze. Our freeze tech is now active. They're powerful tools. Yep, yep, yep. Use freeze to stop them in place. Stop them from attacking when they are when it's used. Your turn does not finish. It's because we could have been we could have taken this instead of the the dash. So, just trying to tell this that again. Combine multiple tech. Yep, yep. So that should be a wombo. Gets us back up to full. Not bad. Yeah, I, the the healing system on combos is is a really elegant way. And like the constant timer, it's spooky, sure. But I think it's spooky and cool. I didn't know if that guy was going to move towards me. A very dangerous home. Oh. Um. I literally can't do anything in to not take damage here. Unless. Okay, I was going to say, unless I can push it away. I had to give that a shot. Holy crap. Can't believe that actually worked. Okay. This is my kill. Yeah, beat it. Okay, we got a grenade. Yeah, let's just give it a kill. Good. Uh, very cool. I, I thought that that might work. The push might work. But if there was not a push there, is, am I wrong? Or was that guaranteed damage? I guess it's guaranteed unless you set yourself up for a better kill early. Which we could do. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I know that we take the potential damage here. Okay. 
can shoot a grenade that will explode out, but... It's not gonna actually... It's not gonna... It's not gonna blow up yet, though, is it? It doesn't blow up yet. No, it does not. Okay. Oh. Whoop, whoop. Man. It feels really good when you just get to keep on staying at full HP like that. Oh. My God. Okay, I didn't... In all fairness, I did not think that they would get to attack after the move. That's a bummer. That's a bummer that they attack after the move. I thought that it would be attack, fizzle, move. No, it is move and then try to attack. Gotcha. Important to know. Hit recharge, what does that mean? Uh, Yeah, that's two whenever we are hit. That's right. Restored one after a combo. That's actually really nice. Mech returns to the starting point after dashing. I'm going to go with the combo recharge. That's very interesting. That's tempting. For for silly plays, it's tempting. Is there like... What is this? Weaker combos. Feels like I really should just go here, right? This just seems like the easiest one, but maybe that's like the thing. Maybe this is just the easy path. Maybe it's a Star Fox 64 thing. Man, that's a good game. Oh boy, this is spooky. Oh God. I mean, if I go here, you can't hide. Blocked, thank you. What? It said blocked! Uh, the order of operations are very important to let the player know on that one. Oh my god. It shouldn't say it said blocked. I mean, to be fair, it's a discovered check, I guess. Or discovered mate. But I guess I didn't know that that was in the game. Okay, good to know. I don't know. It's important in games like this to have um, an explanation for in what order do the units move. Like, I've seen a couple where they go, they, they just go from left to right, or left to right, top to bottom. Like, a little sweeper thing goes across. So like, they move, this use goes first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Or they have, like, one, you know, you hover over them and it goes, like, one, two, three, four, five. I think that that is a good system, personally. I personally think that's a very good system. curious that being said like maybe it's not the intended idea for for what this is okay it says blocked okay all right we good i don't know that i want to keep on just going for ones but i don't know if we're gonna Shoot. We can freeze you, move there. I can't really set up a... I can't set up the combo. Right. Yeah, the thing where that lets me just dash one tile, it's a lot better than you would maybe think. Unnecessary. All right. Thought that might be on cooldown. Hello. Goodbye. 
Yeah, 39 HP ain't too great though. Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Oh boy. Part of me thinks we could get like a double dash kill here. If things go well. Well, well. Bang, bang. Good. Love to see it. Okay. Again, I kind of want to do a little trickiness. That gives me the kill, right? It does give me the kill. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. That's right. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying to set up a cool kill for later on something else, and I'm always getting bopped in a different direction. That man's a dash man. Okay. Gone. All right. Not great, though. Not great. Could we have done that in a... Could we got the combo in a way that wouldn't have gotten us charged yet? Probably. Probably, right? Holy crap. Says, okay, it's blocked by the house, so it can't. Theoretically, we're safe here. Wait. Wait. That guy's gonna dash and kill me, but like, can I, f I can freeze you, dash, move, double kill, so it's a triple kill total for 15, for 15. Oh man, that's brutal. Okay. kill but we're, we're back up to 34 it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine maybe we'll get an upgrade here that'll make things a lot cleaner begin the salvage this is a really this is a really nice gameplay loop let's see here freeze cooldown is restored by one after a combo dash leaves whirlpools behind Oh, that would be really good with the uh, teleport back to where you were. Because a whirlpool is the thing where when you step on it, it pushes everybody away. So you could dash through and then push everybody away. But maybe you don't always want that. Uh, freeze will activate on a valid enemy that attacks the player and prevents damage. That seems really nice. I'm assuming it only went, on, went off cooldown. I would imagine. Oh, that is clever. Okay, if we don't pick one, they move up and they get a little bit more difficult. Weaker combos, weaker combos, and an energy tax. Oh, God. Well, I expect death. Oh God, do I expect death? But let's let's go here, and then we'll we'll push that problem down the road for later. That's a future me problem. Uh, okay, weaker combos. Yep. Modify the rules. Change your strategy to adjust. You can review what escalation protocols are active by pressing the bam button. I'm assuming it's just we get healed for less. Oh, combos reward half as much. Grappling hook to pulls him to pulls a mech towards him. Oh, 
Oh, it uses the freeze even if... Okay, would not have anticipated that. It's a grenade. It's not going to actually activate yet. We have to dash. We can. We have two spots to move, or we could use our dash. Dash would be interesting. We can dash move. Dash move. If I move up or down, I get grappling hooked. <laughs> There's no good, no good way to do this aside from. move up no and even no moving up is bad too yeah i wish it didn't use my freeze when i wasn't gonna take damage because of my shield i wish it didn't use my freeze there that is a bummer hmm i don't know if there's a spot i can go that doesn't have damage now because of the way this worked out i was hoping i would have my freeze Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. I mean, I could probably move. I could I could dash here. Just I could walk move right here and get ready. I can just walk move, get the five combo, five HP combo. The bomb comes out. We just have to hope we're good. And we, we are for what it's worth. Dash. Ah, uh, stinking grappling hook. You can dash move up here. Get a two two combo. If we do a dash and move down here, we would get a three combo, but then we'd get attacked by this for 25%. And we would only heal, what, like eight? Oh, that works too. I thought they, I thought they were at a distance. Man, that's a bummer. Two times combo, 5% power. Oof, man. Oof, man. That ain't good. That's no good. <laughs> Holy God. Like, do we want to start further away? I feel like it's... It's a, it's a weird situation. Now that we know that we don't get a freebie... Wait. Wait, they don't hit the... They don't hit one tile away. What? Now I'm really confused. Was it a different unit? Maybe it was a different unit. Also, that didn't use the freeze. Interesting, 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 interesting. Awkward. But also still fine. Five percent hip hip parade. Close that gap with the kill. Got that freaked me out. Um part of me wants to wait and see if I can get a wombo. Not gonna happen like that. Okay, wait. Yeah, no. We can dash from there. We could go bang, bang. That's one. Gives us the 5%. Good. It's a world where we back up. 
Ah. <sighs> I can't really do it. I can't get a double. Right? Dash through move, that's that's not a kill. I can't like if I freeze one and move, it's still it's it, it is a kill and when I don't want one. I just have to accept accept that. Move on. Oof, boy. Half combos. Half cop. Oh, my God. Part of me wants to eat the dash. Also, the, the freeze probably only happened because we got hit by two things, right? do that. Oh. Wait. 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 Ooh! 10% is all it does. It hurts. It hurts. Move in. Oh, that's no good. I keep on forgetting you can't attack direct. That That's the trickiest thing here. Well, we're going to get hit no matter which direction we go here. So we want to find the direction that will only get us hit once. Because if I go here, I get hit twice and I die. Man. I bet you there is a mech tech that just does, what, like, does a hit to somebody who's right by us. Man, the fact that they're both on food right there is painful. All right, we need something wild. If I do this, I get teleported to a random spot nearby. Which, if it's this one, that's great. If it's this one, oh god, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Boom. Fine. Great. Oh, absolutely required. Absolutely required or we die, right? Man, the constant fight against eternal uh, demise. Boy, it's all too real. Control towers, you detected something. It might be one of the control towers. They don't move. They affect the mech's ability to destroy other Vactics. Scan control towers to see where they have influence. We don't need to destroy them to clear the area. They shut down if all Vactics are destroyed. Oh, God. Uh, what? What? I don't see... I don't see what you're talking about right now. Oh, boy. Oh, this is bad. Oh, there it is. But of course. But of course, just calculate that forehead. <laughs> I mean, don't stand close to a... Uh, I really thought that the grappling hooks couldn't pull from... Uh, I mean, he must have pulled from two tiles away. We just... Man. You get the shield for the one hit. Putting your, uh, your placement right away is is very... Man. If I wasn't recording a YouTube video, I think you would. I would sit here and I'd look for like five or ten minutes. And be like, alright, if I move here, then he'll go there. He'll go there. He'll go there. He'll go there. He'll pull there. Stuff like that. I'll have my shield for this. I won't do this. I won't do that. I won't do that. But the more you play, the less time that that little like analyze section will take. Um, but holy moly, it's interesting. Very interesting. Power supply was re uh, reduced to zero. We will savage for another attempt. Oh, uh, six, 69. I, hey, I did. The, I did perfect. Any more would have been bad. 69 kills. We also get a new color palette, which 
Oh, I like that they let you try it out really quick, too. That This is a great feature for any game that... Um, it's weird that this is the second game uh, in a row that, that I that I played for Let's Try that had this feature. Um, it's it's one that I like a lot. I I always think of... I know it's probably... It's certainly not the first one to do it, but I always think of Downwell as the game that popularized unlocking color palettes, and I think it's a great little meta progress thing for these kind of two to three tone games i think it's great and also this should be in every single one every single game that does that from now on teleport unlocked oh look at that tech that ubis has not been able to duplicate allows mechs to move instantly to another location you can now equip three types of tech that seems so useful so useful the tech that we equip in a, the new cockpit slot will, comes with a cooldown boost. Ah, so this is a move boost, movement boost. This is a cooldown boost. Body is just another slot. We got big head mode unlocked. Wait, what? All right. Very cool. So then we can pick, like, theoretically where it goes. So this is faster, faster cooldown. Man, the fact that we didn't even have that, like, the, the reduced cooldown thing. We would have been able to have three possible moves. But I really like that. Like, theoretically, we now have the, the full meta progress unlock. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Like, to have trickle, you know, trickle in meta unlocks so that your player does not feel extremely overwhelmed right away well not, not making it take too long just absolutely master class like drip feeding uh of data in this game absolute master class uh but alas yeah there's that this is uh this is very cool and i'm sure there is uh you know modified versions for all the teleports let's check out game progress here i want to know codex so those are the enemies these are all these are all the different uh mech techs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve different. Oh my god, look at all those mods too. Those are the different um Cool. Combo recharge, special tile, recharge. Okay, so yeah, this is this is a type of modifier that can be on what looks like pretty much any or literally any different tech. So like if you come, oh God, that the audio balance on that noise is so weird. Uh, that that's amazing though. Like you may look at this, you may be like, this is not that much. But when you factor in how many different mods there are to modify each individual thing, the fact you have three separate slots and you can add, apply multiple mods to each it quickly becomes very broad how uh how deep you can customize each run separately out here uh and it really does open it up so beautifully if the game you know like does well the dev wants to do uh any updates like this is i always speak about it like these are like some of my favorite kinds of games is games where you could feasibly think about like Okay, would an update that adds just, like, three new mech parts, you know, three three new mech techs and, like, ten modifiers, would that be a, a big update? That would be a colossal update. That would be, like, an earth-shattering amount of new content kind of update in a game like this. And that is so cool. That is so cool. That That's how you know you built, like, a really good interesting foundation where all of the choices for customization are going to matter uh very cool this game is super neat highly recommend putting it on the old wish list if you are interested in turn-based tactics games i can't speak to where it goes from here but it seems like a really nice kind of take on the genre it covers a lot of ground it's very brutal uh spawning in is a bit dae you know like trying uh trying <laughs> trying to find exactly where you should spawn in it is both very generous and very brutal because imagine if you were put in a random spot you could definitely take guaranteed damage there could still be maps that generate with guaranteed damage but 
it's far less unlikely because of the whole fact that you start with the one invincibility shield. It's very clever. The combo system to regenerate HP is very nice, though the uh, cursed modifiers that reduce the amount of energy you get for combos are... It's a little... It's a little rough. Like, I don't know how I feel about that modifier, but it's probably fine, and I'm probably just not good enough at the game yet. And then, you know, also I didn't have the full slots yet. We have the third slot now. Uh, that actually is just stronger than the chest slot. Uh, but yeah, I love that in this video we've seen all of the, theoretically, all of the power unlock, everything from this point on would be customization unlock. Everything from here on out, theoretically, just makes it so you have more customized choices. Very cool. Vactix, check it out. Link in the top description. My name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you're into, then this is a channel you should be subscribed to. We check out all of the games in the indie scene that tend to make it quite big, and we do it first, baby. Check it out here. Uh, subscribe to be notified so you get to see the games before they go to the other streamers. You go, hey, I saw that a week ago over on Retromation's channel. You can be that guy, that <laughs> definitely not annoying guy. <laughs> but alas, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.